Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Health is Wealth. Today we are going to talk about how to stay active and healthy despite being a busy professional entrepreneur. So our expert today is Jackie. So she is a health expert and then she helps people to stay healthy, especially with a busy business owners. So uh, yeah, let, let's just get started. Hi Jackie, how are you? Hi Hannah. I am good. I'm feeling good. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, before we start, perhaps just let audience know uh, like who you are and then what you do and just to talk a little bit about yourself. Yeah, okay. So I'm Jackie Grant and I'm a hormonal health coach. So I generally work with um, women who want to, who are busy professionals, who want to trust transform their life but don't want to feel like they are doing any type of restrictive dieting or spending all their time in the gym or do you know what I mean it's it's something that you know we've kind of all got our innate wisdom into in in terms of how we feel when we eat food and it's just being connected more with you really work with people to get more connected with with them uh, around how food impacts on them and then they change their lifestyle in that way so about me i have been doing this for a number of years now i've been health and fitness since 2007 and i started off as a fitness instructor but i was still doing a full-time job at the time um and i i did my two little classes in the community really nice my nice little hobby um before then um, moving out of drugs and alcohol field because that's what I worked in. I was a senior manager in drugs and alcohol. So I um, managed services in um, in Camden, five services in Camden, two dogs, criminal justice, and one was alcohol service. Yes, yeah, so two drugs, criminal justice, alcohol service, and a family service. So yeah, so I was doing all that. <laughs> And then completely changed and went and worked in the gym for less than I was getting when I was about 18, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was a bit of a uh, difference. But actually, you know, right now it's, it's amazing. I prefer to work for myself. I enjoy it. I can do, make a difference. I don't have targets hanging over me, only my own targets. So, yeah, so it's great. That. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that about your journey and how it all started. So today we are focusing on busy professionals. So uh, I know a lot of people have this cons uh, like misunderstanding or have this sort of uh, belief that being a healthy lifestyle, you need to invest a lot of time, a lot of money. So what is your view on that? I know there are simple ways, uh, but then why is that a lot of people still believe that? And then um, what's your view on this? Well, the thing is, there's so much out there now. I mean, yeah. we've got YouTube, we've got apps. We have got so much more than we used to have. Do you know what I mean? In terms of that, you know, um, we've got access to Google, which you can look up exercises all day long. Obviously, you know, if you want to individualize, that's different, then you, you will be paying a bit of money for that. But you can, you can take 20 minutes, 20 minutes a day, you know, just get up 20 minutes earlier. That's it, <laughs> you know? And um, it's just a mindset, isn't it? It's a, it's a mindset shift. It's a shift about your mindset, about what you think about what you need to be doing. And health is your wealth. Because the fact is, is that you are the only person, <laughs> you, you are you, and that's it. If you're not about, then, you know, what's going to happen? You're not going to be able to do your job. You're not going to be able to do the after the kids, you know, especially, you know, if you're a female, you're, you're so, you've got so many titles, it's unbelievable. So you need to look after yourself first. So I always say, you know, even if you, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, as long as you can do something in a few minutes a day, then, you know, you, you're going to keep yourself in, um, in good health. 
Yeah, that's definitely good insight because now there are lots of information out there. Um, but of course, like even like small movements, Mm. more things bit by bit that will definitely make a difference that's better than you know sitting sitting there all day um so definitely that's really helpful and also you said yes health is your first wealth and um it's important to look after ourselves mm. so um i know there are loads of information like loads of things out there that, like youtube and as you mentioned briefly like if someone needs individualized uh fitness plan uh, they will go for personal trainer or go for the instructor so uh, like for people like busy professionals what's your advice on this like when when they should go for a personal trainer or when should the should they just stay with uh, whatever free stuff is that <laughs> well the thing is is that you know, speaking from experience in terms of doing personal training is a lot of people that are busy find it good because they have appointment, you know, and it's harder to like phone up a personal trainer and go, you know, cancel. Do you know what I mean? Although there's text, you know, it's easy to text and say, you know, I'm sick or whatever. But, you know, a lot of the people that I um, work with in terms of personal trainer, I always ask them, what would the ideal personal trainer be like? What would you like to get from them? You know, what, what would be of most value to you? And a lot of the time it's around motivation. It's around encouragement. It's around support. It's around that accountability. So, you know, all those things are things what people actually need as a result of, you know, getting into personal training. If you, if you want to continue with the free stuff, you, you generally have motivation, don't need the support, don't need the accountability, and then you just go there, isn't it, to the gym. So, but I must admit, a lot of people think that they have the motivation and, ten, you know, nine times out of ten people say, do you know what? I've had that membership for such a while, right? And I haven't been to the gym. <laughs> and I say that gyms rely on you because you are the person that you, you just pay all the wages and everything because they rely on you because they only can have a certain quota of, of, of memberships. And, you know, but they overfill that because there's so many people that don't go. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think like for gyms, especially people have the New Year's resolution and say, I'm going to get fit and healthy. And January is like uh, the gym is packed. But then after a while, <laughs> people dropped out. That's absolutely true. So it's, so it's so funny, though. It has gone on a bit longer. It used to be like <laughs> January to February. That'd be it. Then they, it gets a bit, you know, less people. But people are staying a bit longer now. I noticed like before I stopped working in the gym, it was getting into March, April, which was, you know, so people were staying a bit longer. So that kind of motivation to stay a bit longer has, has increased over the years. Yeah. 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 That's true. So um, as you said, definitely a personal train uh, can give you motivation, accountability, and also it's a personalized uh, fitness plan. And mm -hmm. then to really to look at your goal and then it's personalized to you. Yeah. So uh, we mentioned about like uh, keeping the motivation. So I know people saying, yeah, maybe they are bored from the gym or like things like that. So how can we keep motivated? Are there some ways, like perhaps people say, I, I get bored of running or something like that. <laughs> Although for me, I, I'm really addictive to running. How are you? <laughs> and I've, I'm not addicted to running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But in terms of like motivation, it's like, it's just about making it varied, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Because like you can get bored of doing certain things so you know it's about trying to have a kind of a movement movement menu what is your movement menu what what different things like maybe even things that you did as a kid do you know what I mean yeah that you was thinking oh could you know I always wanted to go back and do that but you haven't so you know putting that on a movement menu what are the different things that you might have wanted to try do you know what I mean 
that is some kind of movement and that's how you can kind of bury it because it doesn't have to be exercise in the form of going to the gym you know running or you know doing a group sport so you know it could be anything it could be dancing you know yes. you know it's just making sure that you have some kind of movement menu of your own and that you develop that menu look at it and go right well, which one shall i do now do you know what i mean yeah, yeah. Definitely, that makes things a lot of like I have a lot of fun. I, I I would admit, like ten years ago, what made me getting into like fitness or regular exercise is actually I started taekwondo. Yeah. That was something I always wanted to do when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. So that was that that was a that was a good point. Like something you want to do as a kid but never get to do it. Yeah. Something exactly. that you you feel you're passionate about but never get to do it. That keeps you motivated. Yes, that's absolutely true. Uh, mm. But when, when we come back to the time, like people say, I don't have time. So we know there are things like we can do for 10 minutes, uh, maybe go to dance class, it's like one hour gone. So mm. how we balance all these things? Mm, mm. Well, the thing is, yeah, is that I think time is just a, um, what's the word? Excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> because like the thing is, yeah, is that you make time for other things, yeah. You 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 make time for like even even if you think about it, if you're an entrepreneur, you make time in your in your day for all clients and all these other things, and you know, so there's always time to do that to 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 add in your health, even if you're in a job. You have a specific time, you have to be there and, and, and leave. Do you know what I mean? There's always lunch time. Most people get an hour, do you know, of lunch. So, you know, even if you went to walk around the park or whatever you did, there's, there's always time. And it's about just making an appointment with yourself as you would make any other appointment. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I, 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 think, I think time is a bit of a, yeah, it's, but everyone always says it. <laughs> yes, yes, that's always the like biggest excuse. Like yeah. I don't have time. The another one is I don't have money. <laughs> yeah, well, there's so many free stuff nowadays. It's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, absolutely. You know, in my local area, there's free. There's our parks. They do free all over the place. And I think our our, our parks is in most boroughs in London anyway, in the UK. Um, you know, other countries. I'm sure that there's other other things that people can do outside and they you know depending on the weather there's you know as long as you've got a park <laughs> yes <laughs> do you know what I mean um and you know the thing is is that it's also about if if you're thinking about that you haven't got the money to do something there's there's always your uh, lounge <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> You've got a big lounge, you could do anything in there. Do you know what I mean? Even if it's just dancing around the room with your favorite music on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think definitely, definitely that's true. It's like we've never been too busy to eat, sleep, and you know, the basic stuff. I think yeah. exercise and moving our body has to be like that. Yeah. It's just uh, essential because our health, it's like, brushing our teeth and eat, that's basic living requirements. Exactly. I think moving yeah. is also the basic for our health to longevity. Yeah. So definitely really is like making time for that. And also never, never, never say that I don't have money. There are loads of uh, budget gym out there in London, yeah. like 24 hours. But yeah. yeah. 20 quid, yeah. Yeah, yeah, twenty pounds a, yeah. a month. You can easily yeah. save twenty pounds a month. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so is there any other area of uh, like uh, fitness and health that you help with a uh, like very busy professional? We talk about moving our body. How about there are other things like you know keeping hydrated or other like healthy like uh, eating? Is there like what are are your like like sort of a common tips for them? in this area apart from moving so right so when we think about that water is 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 the main thing you know your body's um you know 
There's so many different percentages of this, you know. Um, but, <laughs> but I always say your body's like 70%, 70 percent water. So you need to be drinking, you know. There's so many different things as the, of this as well. The eight glasses is the recommended, the recommended, which is a baseline recommended amount because people weren't drinking enough. So they wanted to give a baseline. So that's always a baseline. But it's always like, if you think about it, 0 0.6, six seven times your weight in pounds yeah which is um optimal amount of water drinking yeah so definitely hydration is number one key sometimes people think that like they are um hungry and sometimes it's you're dehydrated so it's about making sure that you're constantly sipping water throughout the throughout the day really um yeah hydration in terms of um eating if you think about what people do a lot is they rush about yeah, yeah. rush about i mean i was just speaking to you before <laughs> and say i've been from this to this to this okay do you know what i mean yeah. and the thing is is that generally what we do is eat on the run yeah and that's really bad for <laughs> in terms of your digestion it's really bad to do that because your body goes into fight flight just like it goes into fight flight if you have caffeine, it goes into fight flight if you are being chased by a lion, which we, we don't get. <laughs> but your body goes into fight flight. So, so what happens is if you're starting to eat and your body's in that kind of way, then you, um, your digestion stops. Yeah. So what you've got to do is slow down. Always think about slowing down, always think about chewing your food 30 times. People chew, average person chews three times and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> they were literally swallowing. <laughs> exactly. So literally we could just open our belly up and throw that food in. But like, so we shouldn't do that. So we should try and chew, slow down. And that helps with digestion. It also means if you chew your saliva enzymes that we need for digestion start up. So that's really important as well. So yeah, that's, that's another slow down. Slow down is a real key thing. And, and especially if someone wants to lose weight and they're finding that they're, they plateau, um, it's normally caused by stress and caused by them rushing about all the time. Oh, and wow about slowing down, um, really need to think about how much stress is in your life because that increases the cortisone in, in your body, which then causes inflammation, which then makes your body hold on to fat. So it's really important to slow down. That would be you know, a real big tip for, for people, especially if they're, they're looking at losing weight. Yeah, that's definitely like slowing down. Of course, it's really hard to do. We yeah. are worried about there's so much things going on. We have so many, so many responsibilities. I know like the stress uh, can go really high, but you, you are right. Like the stress definitely have a, have a big impact on this because when I, from my experience or some people's experiences, like when we are stressed, we are, we're craving something we shouldn't do, <laughs> we shouldn't eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and also rushing the food, that's not really enjoying. Perhaps that's not, um, yeah, what you eat, does is important but then it's more how the, uh, yeah how you eat that's right yes mm -hmm. how you eat yeah exactly so yeah so how it's it's looking at all those things how what when do you know what I mean because even the time that you eat has a impact on you and you know generally we all know it's six o'clock but because we live how we live it's very yeah. difficult to eat by six o'clock do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, it's it, you know, actually making sure at least three, three hours before you, that your body has to digest the food, you know, because if, like I always say to people, right, what happens is when you're sleeping, the cleaners come in yeah. and if they come and they go, oh my God, she's digesting. Oh, do you know what? I'll have to come back later. And then they go, oh God. So then your body goes, oh, do you know what? I better hold on to all this fat. And this is why, like, you have that, that people, because it just turns into fat.
fat instead of being digested because the cleaners haven't had a chance to come in, clean out, puke, you know, and then you wake up in the morning nice and refreshed, but you also feel a bit more tired because your body's been digesting throughout the night. Do you know what I mean? So it's very important to make sure that that three hours, um, three hours digestion time. And then also making sure that you get a good sleep because that also impacts on your sleep if you're going to Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's, that's very helpful because uh, we don't really think about that. Mm. Just so, yeah, we eat, um, we sleep, and that's it. But then we don't really think about like three hours. And actually when we are sleeping, um, our body is actually cleansing ourselves. Yeah. So we need to allow that environment to exactly. cleanse whatever you need to do. Yeah. Otherwise, it's going to be like <laughs> uh, just a store there, become like storage. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. And that's, that's, that's the complete thing. It's like you don't want your body to be storing when it doesn't need to because you want it to be constantly, you know, wasting, you know, getting rid of the waste. Elimination is, is so key, especially as like the environment that we live in. You know, we've got all the toxins in it around the world you know fumes in the cars and everything like that and our body you know our skin takes in everything and you know there's so much to think about <laughs> so much, do you know what i mean so um yeah just it's just about making sure that you try and look after yourself and the thing is is that all these things that i'm saying it's about trying to build in little things don't try and do everything at once, build in one thing at a time, you know, as much as you can. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's like one thing at a time, you just uh, need to make small changes at a time. So otherwise people end up stressing out, like I have so much to do, um, but yeah, one, one at a time, there's no stressing out. Again, if you stress out, that's not, that, that would just bring all the effort. <laughs> Defeating the object, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, thank you so much for the information. I think we have we can have a lot to talk about when it comes yeah. to health because it's just so broad and so I just amazed that so many different ways we can mm. look after our health, our health, but then people don't really think about or yeah. maybe people don't really prioritize that. Mm. So yes, yeah, thank you very much for sharing. So, um, of course, in a bit, I will uh, let you to talk about if people want to uh, find more about your work and then how they can connect with you. So, is there any final thoughts or final tips you want people to know? Uh, a final thought. Make a small change. That's my final thought. Make it yeah. small. <laughs> yeah make small change yeah that's yeah. that's definitely make small change and um one at a time yeah okay great so um if people want to find more find out more about you and what you do and your work so what would it what would be the best uh best way to connect with you well yeah um my website is we grant fitness and health um dot co dot uk a um, Facebook page which is Jackie Grant Health Coach or even my Feel Fit and Fabulous and Sexy Over 40 Facebook group. Oh wow, <laughs> <laughs> nice group. Okay, so of course if you're watching on the Facebook live or replay uh, we'll put uh, links in the description. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube uh, the link will be in the description box as well. So uh, yes, check, check her out and find more about uh, the information and but of course yes make one small change at a time yeah okay so thank you very much jackie for coming in and it's been very valuable and thank you for all the audience who has been watching all the way through here and yes look after your health and because your health is your first wealth thank you very much and then i hope to see you soon yeah bye, bye.